Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, The Unemotional Trader. Today, we are going to discuss something which is very different from the videos which I have already uploaded. And it's going to be pretty educational and you'll get to learn the technique on how to find the right stock at the right time to invest in so that you can also find your multi bagger just as I did two months back. So the screen you are seeing right now, this is a list of socks which I bought uh, in January 1st week 2021. And one of these stocks, Fertilizers and Chemicals Travancore Limited, fact as we call it, it has given me greater than 100% return in less than two months. All right. And if you see this list of stocks, eight out of 11 stocks have given me greater than 9% returns in just two months. So how did I identify these stocks? I'll go through that process now. Okay. Before we move on guys, just a quick disclaimer. Whatever stocks I mentioned in the first part of the video or whatever stocks I'm going to discuss in the later half of the video, it is in no way a recommendation to you. You should do your own in-depth analysis before investing any of your hard-earned money in any of these stocks, all right? Okay, let's move ahead. Go to this website, tickertape.in and when you reach there, click on this drop down arrow and select screener. Here you will see a list of stocks, Reliance, TCS, HDFC, Bank, Infosys, etc. What we will do now is we will put some filters on top of it. All right. First filter that you want to put is market capitalization. As you can see here, I can select small cap, mid caps or large caps, depending on your risk appetite. If you're a risk averse investor, then go for large caps. I would suggest why, because these are generally blue chip companies who have been here since a very long time and will definitely be here for a long time as well. And they are like generally profit making companies, uh, sharing their profits with their shareholders. These are safe investment options, okay? But for me, I am more of a risk taker. So I would rather go for small cap companies, small names, but beautiful businesses. I want to identify, okay? So I have selected small cap as my market, preferred market capitalization. Then go to PE ratio and select low here. You'll see a range of minus 492 to 20. Just edit this range. Make this one one to 20 or maybe just make it one to 15 i would say okay now come to return on equity select high and leave it as it is all right so we basically put three filters one is the market capitalization according to our risk appetite one is the pe ratio which is why we selected low PE ratios because we want to identify stocks at the right time. And by right time, what I mean is I want to identify the stocks at cheapest valuations. All right. Low PE means cheap valuations. And what it exactly is, what is a PE ratio? What is return on equity? I'll cover in depth in my upcoming videos. But for now, just remember to put these filters as it is. Okay. Now, after applying these filters, we have a list of stocks here. I'll arrange them in ascending order of their PE ratios. Here you go. Now I have a list of stocks, mini stocks here. If you want, if you have an inclination towards a particular sector, then you can also put a filter on sectors here. So let's say I am interested in real estate. I am interested in the real estate story. Or so you see a stock here, future market networks. I would analyze this stock. Market cap is just 88 crores, too small a company. I won't risk my money here. Let's say I want to go for financials. Okay, here I have Spandana Spurti Financial Limited, decent companies. I have a list of six companies here. Now, the next step is to analyze each of these companies' financial statements. Okay. Okay, guys, so now to analyze their financial statements, what I need to do is I just need to select this stock. I want to click on this button 
and a new tab will open where I'll have this price chart, some analysis from ticker tape, intrinsic value, current price is less than the intrinsic value. So all positives, the green arrows means all positives, red arrows means negatives. So here, if I scroll down, I'll see that 100% analysts have suggested that investors can buy the stock. Now I finally come to the financial trend. So if you see year on year, the revenue of this company has been increasing constantly. And if you see the profits as well from the last three years, the profits have been rising constantly as well. So this is a positive statement for me. Okay. So for beginner investors, this is all you need to do. Put those filters, which I already told you, just have a look at the financial trends. And if there are any red flags on the company, if no, then go ahead and make a decision and buy the stock. All right. So thanks guys. This is the same process which I use to identify my stocks, which I wanted to invest in. Here you can see I invested in fact, fertilizers and chemicals, Travancore, RVNL, Prakash Pipes, Tata Metallics, Hutco, Balrampur Chini Mills, Andhra Paper, Karnataka Bank, SJVN, Wellspun and Cupid. So one important aspect that I want to tell you is when I was making this list of stocks, I diversified it a lot. So you'll see companies from various sectors like fact is from chemical sector from railways it's rvnl prakash pipes from metals it's tata metallics then housing finance uh Hutco, then sugar and paper mills balrampur and andhra paper then from banks karnataka bank then solar energy sjvn then fmcg cupid and wellsman core so be keep in mind to diversify your portfolio always it's always recommended Okay, guys, so I hope this video is of use to you, adds value to you. And I hope especially the beginner investors, if you carefully listen to whatever process I mentioned, if you carefully follow this process, then there are high chances that you will make profitable investments. All right, go ahead and make your DMAT accounts, start small in bits and pieces, invest in a very well diversified portfolio let me know in comments if you have any doubts if i can be of help to you do not forget to like this video subscribe the channel thank you guys thanks a lot